and welcome to the Fortnite School. I'm Orbech and today we're going to learn about starting Fortnite for the first time. What there's to do, how the game works and some tips for a very good start. This is the first video of the elementary course. Be sure to subscribe and like the video to show attendance to class. To install Fortnite, you'll need to install the Epic Game Launcher if you're on PC or install it directly the game if you're on console. Once launched, you'll need to set up a few things before queuing into your very first exciting Fortnite game. First off, you'll need to set up a few binds. Whether you're on mouse and keyboard or controller, here are basic binds for you to try. You can pause the video to set these up. On controller, what's important is that your thumb stays as much as possible on the joystick. That means changing a few pre-existing binds. On keyboard, you'll want to be able to change weapons, edit and build without removing your fingers from the directional keys as much as possible. I suggest that you take example of these pro player binds and that you see which one fits you the most in game. If you're having trouble deciding, I'm planning a bind in depth video that will specifically address bind habits and how to decide which one fits you the best. Also, having a mouse with a few more buttons than normal can help. Your teacher here uses the G502. Alright, now that this is set up, let's talk about game modes for a few seconds. Fortnite offers a few variety of game modes that are divided in three categories. First off, there is pubs. It's probably the game mode you want to start with. It will help you approach the game as the player in it will be around your level. You have solos, duos, trios and squads that you can either fill with other students or not fill. And of course you can do the exact same in no build playlist. The no build playlist is also in pubs. Then we have arena which is the competitive side of Fortnite Battle Royale. You'll find other players trying to climb the ranks. You'll start in open league, then you'll go to contender league and then the highest rank there is is the champions league. And of course, each week you get a variety of cups that either will make you win skin or money or anything else that the game has to offer. Alright, let's select a pubs game and get right into it. So first off, you'll spawn on Spawn Island and wait for the other players to arrive. Here, you can look at the map and the bus trajectory. It's where you'll be jumping from and you can ping any spawn you like. If you just started Fortnite, I suggest you land either very far away from the bus trajectory or somewhere random on the map as the POIs, the marked town on the map, will have plenty of player fighting which is probably not how you want your first game to go down. There is plenty of loot scattered all around the map. You don't need to land on the name POI to have your loot. Try smaller spawn like these ones, for example. When the bus is the closest to your ping, press spacebar to get off the bus and start your dive towards your spawn. Students, know that in Fortnite there is a height limit, indicated by this bar that forces you to open your glider. You can't simply dive and immediately be on the floor. Once the limit of about 100 meters is reached, your glider will force open and you slowly glide down. If you are contested, you probably want to be the first one to reach that limit so that you're the first one to land. And in case of a contest, prefer landing on a weapon or chest that in the open. That way, you'll be able to be the smart one who has the weapon. And you'll probably be able to get the kill. Let's now talk about everything that appears on your screen, what we call the ATH. On the top left, you have your party's player name and health. The top middle of the screen is a compass that indicates you north south, east and west, these are important because when you try to build, your constructions will automatically face one of these four directions and can be a great call out for your teammate to indicate where to look at. On the top right is the minimap, a white line will show you the most direct path to safe zone if you're not in it already. Under the map, you'll have the clock that indicates the time there is until the next safe zone shows up or the storm sign that shows you that the storm is shrinking and that you'll need to run to safety. On the bottom right is your health loot. You have 5 spots to get weapon, rotation item and heals. And on top of these are your mats. You have 3 types of materials that you can farm and we'll talk more about farming material and their utility in the very next video, so stay tuned for that. Then you have your health bar and your shield bar and of course you have your overshield bar for the noble playlist. Try to have them full at all time. Last of the ATH is the crosshair. It's in the middle of the screen and when shrinked, you'll have full precision. When wild, you'll have lots of bloom and the bar under it indicates how many ammo you have in your held weapon. 
One last tip for this video, students, but it's an important one, is that you'll have more precise shots if you stand still, whether it's up or crouched, than if you shoot while moving. The max render distance you can see an enemy and an enemy can see you at is 300 meters. Try to time your standing phase right to avoid being shot out and still have stability to your shots. Grab weapons on the floor or in chests and try them out. Get to know the loot pool and try the items of the seasons. I hope you enjoyed the first class for beginner. Be sure to check out the next lesson and don't forget to like this video to show me attendance. You can follow me on TikTok, Twitter, YouTube Shorts and Instagram at Orbech. Thanks you for watching. Bye.